Hey fam, how y'all doing? Let me start by saying that I have allergies now. 45 years old, I never had allergies, and now it's a thing. Now I have allergies, and it sucks. So those of you who have always struggled with allergies, I feel your pain now. Um, I don't know if this is an ascension symptom or what. It's just strange. Also, let me just share... The video is about releasing fear, but I'm just like, um, last week or so, I had an anxiety or a panic attack. I don't have these. This is, is, and let me tell you how I had it. It was a regular day, work, you know, I went and worked out, um, got home, drank my protein, nice, I had a nice hot shower. I was in the bed with the remote, just relaxing and feeling good. And that's when I had an anxiety attack. Pressure in my chest and my hands were shaking. It was just like, you know, after it, like the feeling subsided, I was Googling and scaring the shit out of myself, of course, but that's what it was, some kind of panic attack or anxiety attack. And I don't know if it's an ascension symptom or if I just, I'm getting old and I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, the video is about releasing fear so let me just start by saying that the end of last year and the beginning of this year i've been feeling kind of fearless that's how i've been feeling so um that's what made me i started think about thinking about how far i've come and how i'm not like a lot of things i do now i did fear at one time and now i don't fear it like so it just made me realize how much i've lost fear and how i feel like i'm just moving forward with that and moving into another stage of like, you know, releasing fear. Um, for example, in regards to relationships, like I've been through some failed relationships and I feel like it kind of put me in this energy of like, kind of fearful of what can happen. It's like, I'm not the type who's afraid to, um, to get in relationships. I'm, I'm not like that, but I do, I will still have that fear of, um, things not working out, which will probably sabotage a relationship half of the time too, when you have that, um, fear like that. So like, um, I don't know. I feel like I've gotten to this place. For example, well, listen, I'm a Libra. Sun, sign, my son is a Libra. My Venus is a Libra. My North Node is Libra. The, what, what, Venus is the planet that rules Libra. Listen, if, if you know anything about astrology, then you will know, you will understand. Um, uh, Venus, uh, or, or Libra is ruled by the planet Venus, and that's all about love. So I couldn't escape it if I tried. Relationships and stuff like that, okay? So that's my life. But I've gotten to this part now where I'm like, okay, like I'm, I'm feeling different about it. It's almost like I feel like I've lost fear because of the fact that I've been through these failed relationships. It's almost like I, okay, I get it. I, I see, I understand what it can feel like, what can happen, what can't happen. I get it. And the way I feel right now is kind of like, I just, I guess because I am focusing on me, it's almost like I don't, if a relationship works, if it doesn't, I don't, it, it, I'm not going to say I don't care, but it's not the end of the world. Life goes on. I realize that like I have gotten, I've done nothing but evolve and get better and grow after going through all these, they didn't destroy me, any of these failed relationships. So I can't look at this like some scary thing. It's just life. You know, a lot of times for, um, for many of us, um, we fear someone hurting us and making us feel a certain type of way. And you know, that's the fear, like giving to someone and not getting something, something back in return. It's, it's uh, most of the time it's from our expectations that we feel this pain. No human being can really make you feel any kind of way. It's you and it's your expectation. Well, I feel something crawling on me. It's you and it's your expectations that, that cause you to feel this pain. It's like, 
if you look at these experiences for what they are, where if they work out and you get something great happens out of it, or if it doesn't, you learn something and you move on. If you look at it that way, then how could you really be hurt if it doesn't work out? It's like, okay, life goes on. Not saying that we don't have feelings and don't care and we want to be treated right, but if we're not, then we remove ourselves and, you know, we understand that, it, you know, that it didn't work for whatever reason and we move on. And we don't move into everything with fear because it actually doesn't matter what happens if it's not a great outcome it doesn't matter like i have grown to be to 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 love myself more and more after failed relationships and it it's all about how you take these experiences what you take from them and that's with everything in life what you take from it has everything to do with what your what what it's going to leave you with what your experience of it will be how you see it you don't have to look at it as, oh, it's just a horrible, oh, this person was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what did you learn? What did you learn? What did it do for you? Because it's always something that it can do for you. Most of the time we go through these experiences for a reason. It's just that simple. So I don't have a whole lot to talk about in this video. I'm just really kind of sharing my thoughts at the moment. But um one of the ways to release fear is, for, for, for one, to acknowledge that you have fear. Uh, many of us hate to acknowledge anything that we think makes us look weak. And that's actually the weakness right there. Being afraid to look a certain type of way. It takes true strength to actually accept that you have something that you need to work on. That's the strength right there. To understand and accept that, yes, I have a fear of this. Why do I fear this? People just don't ask themselves these, these questions and, 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 and do the hard stuff, which is just work on it, think about it, feel it, you know what I mean? When it comes down to your dreams and your goals and your plans and stuff, I mean, the only thing we can do with that is just face it, you know, and take steps towards it. I, there's still room for me to grow in that area. I, I still am fearful of really being, just being out on my own. I'm still fearful in ways and hold myself back in ways. So there's still room to grow for me in regards to that, you know? But, you know, take steps, acknowledge it, like I just like I just did, right? And it's the same thing as in with uh with dealing with people. Sometimes um we have to embrace our shadow side. You just have to. You have to I'm not saying you got to cuss people out but you have to be stern sometimes. You have to be straightforward sometimes. You have to like, you know, tell it like it is. Even if you're nervous when you're doing it, even if you're shaking. What would Ralph used to say? Speak the truth even if your voice shakes. Yeah, sometimes you gotta embrace your shadow side. I don't like to cuss people out, you know? I might. I might talk to my spirit guides about it, you know. I cuss them out when I'm talking to my spirit guide. But, you know, um, at the same time, be stern, though. Be straightforward. And sometimes you have to be like, you know, you have to get with people. You know what I mean? Like, and I know a lot of us, because we don't like confrontation and we sweet, some of you. You know, we don't like to go off or whatever. But you don't have to. You can be straightforward. And like, and just tell the truth, be straight up, straightforward and tell the truth, tell it like it is, fam. So fam, before I start sneezing, because what happens is I'll sneeze five times in a row and then I'm done. For about two hours, I'm dead. Like uh, stuffy, like whatever, I don't know what this is. Um, somebody told me I need to get some local honey and eat it or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. 
But fam, that's really it. Um, trying to decide if I want to fight through it and go work out and stuff. And um, that's it, fam. I'm about to go. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace and blessings.